Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe today, um, as I do every day. So today I'm an unboxing for you, for those of you who like those, some don't, many do. Um, but if you don't, you can always enjoy one of my many hundreds of hundreds of crochet tutorials, yarn reviews, and, you know, other types of videos. But let's unbox. So today is from Hobium Yarns. I do like Hobium. I have a lot of their yarns, but they got new ones in. Um, and they sent me a few. Like I said, it was unsolicited. I don't usually, I don't accept free yarn from companies, but sometimes they send it to me without asking and there's nothing I could do. So I put it, I always put it in giveaways. But anyways, I bought some of their new yarn and I'm looking on their site again. I got more new yarn. <laughs> I try to keep up with companies' uh, new yarns, but it's it's hard because uh, they just push them and out all the time. And so some of this is new, and some of it is some I've had before, but maybe a different color. So we'll start with this one. This one they sent me unsolicited. I have to give it away still, but I bought it in another color. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. This is the Himalaya brand. Now, this is one of the good brands that Hobium sells. Himalaya. This is their Nepal. Now, it's like a, it's like it's between a six and a seven weight, and it's got that black uh, strand. It's it's a rolling style, but it's got like that black strand running through it. I thought it was cool, and I really like this color. So, um, it's uh, all these yarns that I show you. Not all of them, actually. Well, I, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is uh, made in Turkey. Um, 200 grams, 52 meters, or 57 yards. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it is um, between a 6 and a 7 weight. So, a nice chunky cow would be pretty. I just thought this color was really pretty. With the red and the pink and the purple through it. So, these run $5.95 a piece. Now, with Hobium, you can buy by the ball or the pack. If you buy by the pack, it's 10% cheaper. So, these were $5.95, but I bought a pack, the pack of three, so I got 10%. Uh, I got it 10% cheaper. So, there's that. Uh, washing instructions, I'm sure. Oh, it's an acrylic, uh, I need even tell you, wool blend and hand wash, lay flat, of course. So, there's that. I have had that before. And here's some I, I have, had, I do have, have some of it. I really like it. Uh, they just had new, got new collars in. So I got some of the new collars. This is their uh, La Mia brand. This is called Just Wool. It's, it's, a, it's not a bad yarn. Uh, I have quite a few colors in it. Let me open up a pack and show you. I gotta be able to tape it back up. <laughs> okay. So they had a pretty new pink one right here and a pretty purple. They, they had a pretty blue which sold out. But um, so it's a nice um, it's it's a hundred and twenty-six yards. It's classified as a three weight, which I would probably agree with. It's got little speckles on it of um, it's got little speckles of pink and stuff in it. They have some that are like multi-speckled and stuff, but it's pretty neat. So it's all it's a 100% wool hand wash, lay flat. These are $2.09 a piece or 10% off if you buy a pack of 10. So I got the pack of 10. When I deal with Hobium, I almost always buy their packs if I can. Uh, can. I guess not always. Some things I don't buy the packs of. And this is a pretty new purple. Ooh, that one's real pretty. The speckles in it are pretty. Let's open that up and check it out. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got reds, all different colors of speckle. It's kind of a bluish purple, I guess. I don't know, but I like that one. I like all the color, different colors. This one, this pink one just had mainly red and pink speckles, but this one has all the colors of speckles. Flex. I like to flex yarn. Flex yarn is is cool. 
I think it is. Cool's uh, the other side of the pillow. You guys ever heard that saying? I don't know, maybe that's a Midwest thing. Cooler than the other side of the pillow. You know when you're sleeping and in the middle of the night you flip your pillow over because it's cooler on the other side when you get hot? I don't know. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, but... <laughs> just made me think of that. That's just a saying we use here. You guys use that saying? Let me know in the comments. Okay. That is lightweight yarn. Okay, I wasn't, I don't know. Sometimes I read about yarn and I just don't take in consideration of how lightweight it's going to be when, when I get it. So this is that brand, which they call S -S -S SMC Katina Glamour. So it, it's very pretty red and it's very glamorous, very, very blingy. That's pretty yarn, um, but it's very thin like a two weight so it would make a pretty shawl yeah it's a two weight it says it's a two weight um you can i'm still laughing about that cooler than the other side of the pillow comment i feel stupid for saying that anyways um it's <laughs> you can wash it but you gotta lay it flat to dry um it's made in turkey and it's 98 percent cotton so it's a cotton yarn it, uh, you can feel the sprinkles in it a little bit, not sprinkles, but sparkles a bit, but I don't think it would be bothersome if you made a shawl or something out of it. It's very, very blingy. So, 390, 390, how much is in here? 155 yards of a two weight, 390, that's a little pricey, but if you buy if you buy the 10 pack, you do get 10% off that. So I got the 10 pack there. That one is a little bit pricey because it's two weight, just don't go very far, in my, if you ask me. Okay, this was a new yarn that I they, that I never had before. It's their Himalaya. Mm hmm. Himalaya Super Soft Yarn is what it's called. I like it. Um, let's read about it. 100% acrylic. Uh, Three hundred and fifty-nine yards of a medium weight number four. Um, and you can wash and dry. Made in Turkey. So three hundred and fifty-nine yards of a medium weight four which is uh, it is a four weight it it would be on the thicker side of a four too like a I, I don't know like a red heart super saver four they're kind of you know it's kind of a thicker four anyways regardless it's it's soft like i love this yarn from hobby lobby feels kind of similar to that nice and scarfable uh and this cost 6.90 690 Himalaya is a good brand though so you have to take that into account it is a really pretty navy blue 690 a ball of Himalaya super soft yarn um 100% acrylic it's average softness it's an average four weight yarn um, as far as that goes, 359 yards, 690 is pricey, <laughs> considering I probably go to Hobby Lobby and spend, what, 399 maybe? Is that what they are there? And get probably about the same thing. But it's still a nice yarn. I like it. Hey, 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 I got 10% off though because I bought the pack of five, but that still don't make make up for it but no it's i'm not trashing it it's not a bad yarn I mean, i'd probably buy it again sure maybe someday you know someday maybe okay this is uh the himalayan i've had this before himalaya i do like that brandy yarn that they carry it's a nice yarn now this one is softer <laughs> than that one i just put put down there this is the himalayan everyday super lux 100 percent anti-peeling Machine washable and dryable. Ooh, 
that's a pretty brick red. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, 273 yards of a four weight. It is a four weight. I concur. It's a thinner four, but it's still a four. Made in Turkey. It's, um, pretty. Does the price tag reflect it, though? I'm sure. I'm sure it probably, probably does. Uh, let's check it out. Himalaya Everyday Super Lux. I don't know. Um. Dang it. I gotta, I gotta type it in. Sorry. They don't ever come with sheets to tell me how much it costs. Okay, there it is. The Super Lux is four twenty a ball. Now that's not bad. That's not a bad price because it's it's softer than that down there. Um, two hundred seventy three yards. I guess it does have less yardage, but it is a little cheaper. Four twenty, um, and it is ten percent off if you buy the five pack. I like it. Like I said, I've had it before though, so I knew I would like it. Nice, nice sodium. It's another one I had before, but this collar, I had to get the collar. It was not going to escape me this time. I think it was sold out last time I wanted to get the collar. This one's softer than the last two that I just uh, put in. Now, I've, ha I've had this before. Um, this was, uh, the last one was called Himalaya Everyday Super Luxe. This is a Himalaya Everyday new tweed, and to me, it feels softer than that one. I don't know. It could be just me. But the color is very, very pretty and very, very much reflects my style. Mustard. And look at the tweed in it. You can see the tweed. That's too dark. It's not showing up right. But anyways, it's like a mustard color. And Tweedy Dijon mustard color. That is pretty. You know... I could make a sweater out of this. Uh, that seems like it would be appropriate. Do I have enough yardage to do that? Let's check. 219 yards, medium weight number four. Yeah, made in Turkey. Machine wash, machine dry. <clears throat> um, 219 yards, I got five of them. They run $4.95 a piece. They got some pretty colors. They got a, a green one too that I really, really like. Like the op like, you know, baby doo doo green or whatever you want to call, <laughs> call it. I like those colors. But, anyways, that's pretty. So, $4.95 a ball or 10% if you buy the five pack. And, like I said, I just make a pretty sweater too for I'd have enough if I used to, if the right stitch for it. But that is my favorite so far that I got. Um, and I bought some more of this. Uh, I, th they sent me this uh, yarn and I thought it was a good deal. So I bought, I bought some more of it uh, because it reminded me of Caron Simply Soft and it was a good deal. So it's the Etrophil I got some more red again. What is it with me and red today? Brick red. It's the Atrophil Flora. Now, I mentioned they sent this to me when they sent me that unsolicited box, box of yarn. Um, and I said that it is very resemblant of Caron Simply Soft. It's got the shine. Um, and it's got the feel. 260 a ball. And there are um, 230 meters, so if I had to guess the yardage, I don't know. I'd guess it at um, 251 yards. I looked it up. 251 yards at $2.30. So that's actually a cheaper price than um, Caron Simply Soft. I mean, Caron Simply Soft has a little bit more yardage, but... What is it now? It's well over three dollars a skein now, isn't it? At Walmart, that's the cheapest place too. It's more money elsewhere. But I thought it was a good deal, so I bought bought that. The five plus I got ten percent off. 
each skein because I bought the five pack of that Flora yarn. I like it. Um, I got more red, more red. Kidding me? More red. Then I got some more of that Flora yarn in a bright pink. It's from my daughter Rose. Evelyn Rose. Sometimes you'll hear me call her Rose, and sometimes you'll hear me call her Evelyn. Or Ev. You, I don't know. It just depends. But all, she has a million nicknames. But anyways, Rose, I like this a lot. I think of her a lot when I pick out yarn. She's the only one that cares about yarn. Okay, I got some of this red, red again. Red, red. Maybe I'm in love. Maybe that's what it means. In love with the yarn. <laughs> So this is that pack of yarn. It's called Himalaya Everyday Symphony. Symphony. That's what it is. Anyways, it is a very, very soft, like a pillow, soft, like a cloud soft. Um, super, it's pretty soft. Yeah, it's real soft. It's definitely the softest out of all these yarns so far. But the thing is with this, it is um, made up of, I think, six or seven different strands. And together, they equal the weight of a four-weight yarn. So you just crochet them together like a normal, you know, like you would. Uh, they're very fine, but you just, uh, they're just not twisted. So you would just crochet them like normal, and the weight equals a four-weight. And they have the same effect as the uh, Premier Bobbins, but they don't have that weird bobbin thing that I, I wasn't a big fan of. It goes, it has the three col or two solids, and then the uh, red in the middle there with the other solid. I like it. It's pretty. Um, so, the, like I said, uh, those six or seven strands equal a four weight. Each ball has 214 yards in it um medium weight four machine wash 100 percent anti-peeling acrylic nice now these run about nine nine dollars a pack they got lots of pretty colors in this now lots more than than they used to last time i bought one they didn't have as many colors but man they have a lot to choose from now so i like that a lot and um that's enough to make a little sweater if I choose to do that or put it in a giveaway I guess I just kind of buy the shirt to show you guys and tell you about it tell you about it okay this is their Luna yarn um bought this one other time I believe um only because Evelyn likes, or Rose like Evelyn, Rose, Evelyn, whatever, my daughter, my four-year-old, she loves um, fuzzy yarns. And this is like a silky, like, carry on, carry on uh, latte cakes, if you've ever felt them. They're like silk. That's what this reminds me of, except for, it's like this. So, I think it would be good to uh, edge stuff with, uh, like, put, the, put at the bottom of, um shawls or ponchos or sweaters or something like that i'm sure evelyn would love this pink um it's called lauren luna my niece's name is luna so that is another reason why i bought, I bought it um it's 460 a ball uh there's 76 yards per ball they classify it as a two weight I don't know, whatever you would relate to kind of a novelty yarn, so I don't really know what I would classify it as. Um, poly, it's uh, 86 polyamide and 14 polyester, but gosh, it's ever soft. I like the way it's so, it reminds me of a Muppet or something. Well, you know, remember the Muppets? Fraggle Rock, do you guys remember Fraggle Rock? That, that show? Those, are, those of you in the U.S., you remember that show? Memories, or you get 10% off if you buy the six pack. Oh, memories! Here's some more of that flora yarn. I got it in off white because I thought about making that one a dress with that pink. Um, 
And then I also got it in dark purple. It's so it was such a good deal that Flora yarn for two sixty a ball. Um, and cheaper if you bought the five pack. I just couldn't pass it up. They have a lot of pretty colors. I got it in purple also. So I won't open it because I have um okay. Now I got some uh, let's see, I can't think if I've ever had this or not. I have had this one time, but it was it was pre-dyed already. This is wool I can dye, and I will definitely dye it. I need to do a dyeing video, don't I? Um, so this is our Lamia Natural Wool made in South America. Okay. And there's 218 yards. It is a medium weight number four hand wash, lay flat. It's not pre-washed, so it would felt if you wanted it to um yeah i like that 100 wool but i love wool a lot too much probably but i bought this to dye i won't put this in a giveaway because i'm gonna dye it and make it all sorts of pretty colors come on how much is it Okay, here it is. It is 625 a ball. Or if you buy a five pack, it's 10% off. That's really not bad for um, buying a plain hank of yarn of wool and, um, and dyeing it. When I buy it from Nip Picks, it's like nine something a hank. So I guess it just depends. Uh, mm, let me think. Lion Brand has this right here, almost the exact same thing, probably about the same yardage, and I think there's a six dollars too, so that's about right on the money. I got a five pack, so I got uh, it ten percent cheaper, and I got lots of yarn. I got lots of wool to dye now because of the mystery boxes I got from from um, uh, 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 Kramer Yarn. I can't wait to get that. I got some pretty yarn up in here. Anyway, so you guys see it. It's so pretty. Actually, all of it's been pretty. Okay, so this is uh, a, another... The Etrofill is a good brand that, that they carry. This is a nice yarn. I had it one time. I gave it away in a giveaway. And I always wish that I never would have given it away. Because I wanted to make a uh, something for winter out of it. It's Atrophil Casimir, Kaz, I don't know, but, but um, it's so soft. It's 100% micro cashmere cash, polyamide. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you it is very, very soft, and it's really pretty. Um, there are... Uh, Made in Turkey. Um, the, uh, I forget what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So they classify it as a four weight, and it is a four weight. It's so soft and delicate feeling. I don't know. It just feels so soft. And there's 246 yards per ball. And I got this black. But if you look close, you can tell that it's not just straight black. It looks a little, I don't know what you would say, I don't know, washed, but barely. Can you guys kind of see some hints of gray or something in it? I don't know. Maybe that's fuzzies from the other yarn. I don't know. No, I think it looks a little... It's cool. It's got a little bit of a shine on it. N not much. That might be what I'm thinking it, it is making it look washed. That little bit of... Not much, though. It's it's kind of a flat. I'm, I'm not describing this yarn very good tonight, am I? Uh, okay, this is soft. This is nice. I'm not giving this away. I am making something. It's $6.25 a ball. Four weight. Micro cashmere. Um... 246 yards. I bought a five pack, two, four, six, eight. Plenty enough for me to make a sweater. I got black, even though no one can see black on camera. 
I will make sure whenever I crochet um, what I crochet with it if it will be a sweater or I don't know man it's got to be something to go it's got to be something to go against your skin it's so soft I'll make sure you that you'll be able to see it whenever I do a tutorial on it that's beautiful yarn I like it like I said I had that before I knew that I like it um and then they had some new colors of rock and roll rock and roll now, if you are not familiar with rock and roll yarn, um, it's very similar to Ice's uh, Rockstar yarn. It's very similar to Ice's Universe yarn. It's very, I think it's her Universe yarn, or Hobium's Universe. One of them's called Universe, one of them's called something else, I don't know. It's very similar to Patton's Metallic. They don't make that anymore, but if anybody has ever felt that, um, it's super cool. Well, they got some new colors in, and you know, I had to get them. I have a couple things on my channel made out of this Rockstar, and it's Rockstar to use. I really, really like it. That gold is gorgeous. That is a pretty, pretty yarn. That is my style right there. That's so luxurious looking. Oh, that's pretty. It's 21% acrylic, 70% pyamide, and 9% Lena Marino. Gazelle Rock and Roll, 125 yards per ball. Um, it is uh, do not for hand wash, lay flat. It's, uh, I think it's a four way, if I can remember is what they now it says it's a dk which is a lightweight three i think it's between a three and a four it is a chain spun yarn that's got to be the prettiest yarn of the day so far for me that's so gorgeous i got a lot of pretty ones but this reminds me of a gold brick i like gold bricks i don't own any but and i've never seen one but i can imagine that it would look like this. I wish I had one. <laughs> That's pretty. I'm gonna put leave this out of my box because I might do some, something with this really soon. Usually when I say that, my next tutorial will be made out of that. I know exactly what I'm gonna make with that. Okay, so I got it in another color I thought was kind of cool. It's uh, striped, looky, stripey looking. Pink. Pink and um, zebra, it's like uh, pinky zebra, zebra striped. It's uh, pretty cool looking. I like it. I'm not as good as I like that gold though, but that's neat that the zebra striped look. It's nice. I can't wait to use that gold. You wait for me tonight, gold yarn. You're going to be made in some pretty. All right. See, when I bought that, I had no idea what I was going to make with it. I just bought enough. I just, I always just buy the packs at Hobie. But I know, so that, you know, I, I just always buy the packs because it's cheaper. And I had no idea what I was going to make with it. But as soon as I took it out and held it up, I knew right then what it's going to be. So, yeah. You guys will know soon because you'll see it. I'll do a tutorial for it. Um, okay. Then they had this stuff was on sale at the time. I don't know if it still is for a dollar a ball. A dollar a ball. I like it when yarn's a dollar a ball. It's etch and it's etrophil. Angora baby. I think I have some of this here, but when I bought it, it wasn't a dollar a ball. It's not a dollar a ball anymore. Now it's a dollar eighty. When I bought it, it was on sale for a dollar. But anyways, the Etro Fill Baby is um this uh, Etro Fill Etro Fill Angora Baby. Oh, it's Angora Baby. So, yeah, 15% Angora, 35 viscose, 50 polyamide. It is 
probably a three or a four weight, three weight probably. And the yardage on it is 150 meters. 150 meters. So, yeah, they they classify it as a two. I don't think it's a two. I think it's a three. Thin, or a thicker three, too. Um, 164 yards. That's a pretty good price for a dollar. Especially since it has any board in it. I mean, I didn't think, I didn't think it was bad. i seen it. I follow on, uh, Hobie I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And um, i seen that they were having a sale on this. And I thought, heck yeah, that's pretty cheap. So I got the blue and the brown speckle. And then I got uh, pink and um, red speckle. Actually, it, it was on sale for a dollar a skein. And if you bought the 10 pack, it was still 10% off. So it was uh, 90 cents a ball is what I paid for it. So I don't think that was a bad deal. There's plenty there to make something with. Um, a baby blanket or something, I would imagine. Um, let's see. Um, then I got... Oh no, it's smashed. I don't like it when my yarn gets smashed. More red. More red. Now this is new to them. And I think it's very similar to something that they already have. But I like to get the new yarns and show everybody and tell you what I think about them. This is their Atrophil um, Republic. See how it got squashed? It's all squashed up. I don't like it when stuff gets squished up, but that's okay. So it has the center pull here, and it's it's just uh, a thin um, three or four pieces strung together. So it's very similar to their puzzle yarn that they already have. It's very similar to a hobby twister, um, the ones that are not twisted up. So it's a cake like that, uh, or red heart. It's a wrap. Or Red Heart Rainbow, it's a wrap. Stuff like that is what it's similar to. So these are $13 a piece. Um, there is probably over 1,100 yards in here of uh, recycled cotton. Oh, it's 100% recycled cotton. Yeah. So they got lots of pretty colors, but for some reason I chose two reds. <laughs> yeah, there's like 1,100 yards. So I got this red one red and gray and then i got this red one and this red and white weird weird me and the reds today but yeah like i said these are 13 dollars a piece which isn't bad if you're comparing it to like a hobby twister i don't know what them run anymore you know i haven't looked at a hobby in a while maybe it's it's probably it's probably uh competitive with those um, you can buy them in a five, five pack and you get 10% off, but I didn't. I don't need five of these. I could probably barely use one. I'll probably put them in giveaways, but I wanted to show everybody the new yarn. So, and it is recycled cotton, which I don't think the other ones are, but very pretty. Like I said, they have tons of colors, but for some reason I picked, a, picked the only two colors I picked were the only two reds they had. That's, that's so uh, weird of me. I don't know why I did that. Okay, this was new too. Now, this is new uh, to Hobium. It's not new to me. I've used uh, this this type of... Uh, I don't even know if I can say it right. Uh, raffia. It's like a paper type yarn. Probably didn't say it right. But anyways. Oh! Holy crap, I didn't know it was that much money. That's not cheap. That's not cheap. <laughs> it's pretty though. My colors, yellows and browns. Now, um, this is like a paper style yarn. And what this stuff is good for, it shows a hat here. But if you see, ever look at designer bags like Prada and stuff like that, um, uh, Dolce and Gabbana, they use this a lot for their crochet. When they make crochet bags, they'll use this raffia stuff because it's sturdier um, and it makes things stand up straight. So, you know, maybe I'll uh, look at some designer handbags 
and um, Chanel uses it. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll do a knockoff of one. It won't be the same color. I doubt they have any of that color, but they do have other colors. And this stuff's nine dollars. That seems ex a little overpriced to me. Um, it's 100% viscose. It's classified as a four weight, 87 yards. That does seem like a lot, considering I bought a bunch of raffia yarn off of a uh, Premier um, a while back for two two dollars a ball. Same stuff. Same stuff. It was all solid though. It wasn't variegated, but I don't think the variegation makes it worth that nine dollars. But it's still pretty. I would prefer the solid color, actually. To tell you the truth, none of them are solid, but they are all very pretty. I'm surprised I didn't get that red one on there. Oh, they got a pretty brown one, but I can't justify paying nine dollars again for that. Okay, I got ten percent off because I bought three of them. That's ridiculous. I don't even know what I only I only bought that because it was new and, and I want to show you guys the new yarns. I probably wouldn't buy it again because I think that's a bit much. But because you can't find the if I'm even saying that right, Raf Rafia, Raf, you can find that cheaper elsewhere. Um, so yes. But anyways, that's there's that, that. Um and then I got one more thing here. Remember, did you watch the unsolicited unboxing of Hobium they sent me? If you guys watch that, you'll know what I'm talking about here. Uh, they sent me <laughs> some of these um, in their unboxing because it's new to their site. Or to me, um, when they sent me that unsolicited box, I keep saying that unsolicited. They sent me a pair of these. Which was weird because they sent it in my size and I just found that strange that they knew how they knew my foot size. I guess it was just a lucky guess. But I, they sent me a pair of white ones. Well, I wanted to get a pair of brown ones. So if you're not familiar with these, they have uh, those strings there. What you do is you crochet like a row of slip stitch or single crochet around them. And then you can build up your boot. Or whatever you're going to make slipper or whatever around it and you have rubber soles on the bottom so uh you can wipe them if they get dirty you can walk outside in them you can go and put walmart in them if you choose whatever you want to do but um i wanted to get these because the ones they sent me were white which was fine but i wanted to make a pair of shoes even though i don't like it i wanted to use these this winter uh do a tutorial T tutorial on them and I wanted the brown ones now the brown ones are more money for summer than I have no idea why so the white ones are the white they're just white soles like this with white uh, stitching are $5.90 and these brown ones are $8.10 so they have black ones too black ones are $5.90 I guess I guess the white are just uh, oh the whites Oh no, never, never mind. The brown's nine twenty. It's, I guess the brown's a hot commodity. You got they gotta charge more for it. They're, they're eight ten if you buy them. Um, if you have a narrow foot. Well, I had to buy regular, so mine was nine something, nine twenty. That's, but I think that I hope these aren't narrow. Anyways. I'm going to do something with them. And. Oh I'm putting them on the wrong feet. Do you know. Yeah that fits. Do you know I want to hear something funny. You guys will probably think that. It's weird. And that there's something wrong with me. But that's it. That's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it all. That was a, that was um, a, their new yarns. At the time when I bought this. But now they have more new yarns. Which I will purchase at a later date. And unbox and show you guys on a later time. This video is done went on too long. But I was going to tell you, so you guys want to hear a funny fact about me. I don't know if you'll think it's funny. I think it's funny. Do you know I cannot put on a pair of shoes? Now, you t I've told you if you guys many times I'm an avid shoe collector. I have so... I have... Uh, uh, that's one thing that I collect is shoes. I have for a long time. I got lots and lots of shoes. 
But you know I cannot put on a pair of shoes without putting them on the floor and putting them together first. I can't just grab one and look and see what foot it goes on. I have to put them together in front of me and then I can put them on. And I will only put my right foot on before I put my left foot. I don't know why. I'm weird, I guess, but um, I always think it's bad luck to put you guys can turn me off. I always think it's bad luck, okay, to put left on before right. Uh, so whenever I put socks on, I put my right sock on first and then my left sock. My shoes, I have to put down in front of me to make sure that they're on the correct feet. Because I, I, like I said, I can't pick one up and tell. I have to put them together. And I have to put my right shoe on and then my right foot. I also, I also have to put my right pant leg in before I put my left pant leg in. Now, you guys, if you're still here with me, you tell me what a weirdo I am in the comments for that. That's part of uh, some type of problem in my head that I can't fix. It's been like that for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time. Uh, but yeah, hey, look for something for this soon. I know what that's going to be. It's going to look so beautiful. Probably not on me, but... I'll model it. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Sorry this was so long. Well, again, sorry not sorry. You didn't have to watch it all if you didn't want to. Bye everybody. Stay safe.